No one would argue that we are living in crazy times. And sometimes it feels like this bus is, uh, it's like watching that movie Speed. It's out of control and it's just gonna blow up any time. So much so that men don't know if they're men and women don't know if they're women. There's no right, no wrong, no up, no down. Everything just seems so hairy, you know, helter-skelter, so mixed up. So how did we get here? Well, my personal theory on this is that it has a lot to do with the fact that fathers have checked out. That's right. There's a lot of fathers who no longer participating in everyday life with their children. Now, don't get me wrong, they may still be there, like physically, but they're not there mentally, they're not there spiritually, they've checked out. A lot of them are too busy, consumed in their own life, living their best life, uh, somehow thinking that the role of a father, that idea of sacrifice, that idea of giving, up, uh, giving, giving uh, you know, putting out yourself for your family, that's so antiquated, so old fashioned. Now what it really should be is you living the journey along with your kids and it should be about your enjoyment and your pleasure. And really you're more of an ally, more of a friend to your children, not a mentor, not a leader, not somebody who is the head of that household. Why? The role of a father is a tough role. It's not an easy job. The easiest part was donating sperm and you know having the child. That's the easy part. The hard part is raising them day after day, year after year. There's a lot of sacrifice involved. It is being selfless and not selfish. It is pouring into your children and coming alongside them in every moment, all difficult times. It's going to work at jobs you may not enjoy because you've got to put food on the table and you've got to make sacrifices. It's not about watching sports incessantly for hour after hour or video games or sitting in your man cave and uh, drinking yourself to a stupor. That's not what fatherhood is. And, it, you know, it, I look around at all the madness with all the trans movement and I say, where are the fathers? The mothers are out there protesting. There's, you know, uh, all of this other uh, aspects that they're taking on. They're standing up against what's going on. But the fathers are silent. Why? Have you been convinced that by you speaking up, it's toxic, it's that toxic masculinity? Hell no. You have a responsibility to protect your children. That's one of your key roles as a father. It's a protector. You've got to be an educator. You're going to pour into them values, morals, everything. But you're also going to show them leadership in the home. If they don't feel safe around you or that you've got their back and you're protecting them, they'll go find it elsewhere. They'll find it in another group, another uh, gang, association, whatever, whoever they want to come along and identify with whatever movement or ideology that says, hey, we care about you more than your own father does, they're going to gravitate to that. That's our job, fathers. We have to be stepping up. We can't be absent. Now, maybe things didn't work out with your spouse, you're divorced, you're separated. That doesn't mean you step out of the lives of your children. Now, I deal in the finance industry many times I hear fathers lament about uh, child support. I said, are you kidding me? They're your kids. You have to support them. What are you so bitter about? That's your job. Now I get it, your ex-wife's a nightmare, whatever. Hey, that's fine, that's, that's between you and her. You still have a responsibility to these kids. They're yours, you chose to have them. And the fact that so many fathers are vacant is leading to all this problem because these kids are seeking that love, that affection, that attention, that direction from something. And they're filling it with all the insanity that the mad, mad world is offering. The, the people like we talked about before, the maps, minor attracted persons. You've got pedophiles, groomers, all these people who are vying for the attention of your children. If you don't give it to them, somebody else will. And the consequences will be tragic. So, fathers, step up. Turn off the TV. Get off your phone. Spend some time with your kids. Uh, read, educate yourself on what's going on, the topics, the issues, so you can have those conversations. Don't be afraid of being the pop parent who's unpopular by having a stance that is, is normal or is morally upright or correct. So what if other parents are a bit offended by it? Who cares? You stand your ground. You stand and do what's right for your children. Not right what's right for culture or what will make you look good among the other parents. It's what is going to be for the salvation of your children in the long run. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a perfect father. I, I, this side of heaven, nobody is. 
I've certainly made my fair share of mistakes. Sometimes I get short-tempered. There's a lot of other things, but I'll tell you what, I am there for them day in and day out regardless. That is my job, that's my duty. It isn't to be popular, it isn't to have it easy. It is to pour into them, which is my responsibility. And I challenge fathers out there who are not doing so. If there's dysfunction, there's brokenness. Now it's not gonna solve everything, you stepping in. There's no, it's not a Disney movie that in, in 30 minutes, everything's gonna be perfect, but it's a start. Start stepping into the lives of your children. See what's going on. If you're, if they're constantly on their phone, and chances are they're watching you be constantly on your phone. Put it away, engage with your children, have discussions, get to know one another. Realize that your responsibility isn't just to rear them, it's to raise them, to love them, to educate them, to pour into them, and above all, sacrifice your own needs for them. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account, and I will see you next time.